Welcome to Chicago's 40th anniversary Good Friday Walk for Justice. We hope that you are all well and safe as we gather virtually under the darkening cloud of this unprecedented global pandemic. We dedicate this year's walk to all those individuals and communities around the world who are most vulnerable to the impacts of COVID-19. As we prepare for our virtual walk, we want to offer a huge thanks to those who sponsored us this year. In addition to volunteer time, it does take actual money to promote the walk and to produce the prayer booklets and other needed materials. Please consider contributing what you can by going to the website walkforjusticechicago.com. And please also take photos of how you are engaging in this virtual walk for justice and post them using the hashtag Hope Rises 2020 so we can celebrate the collective power of courageous community. And plan to join next year's Good Friday Walk for Justice, hopefully downtown. <laughs> we are grateful for the courageous communities and organizations that are living hope and will help lead our Good Friday prayers. Today, we gather as a community in the best way we can right now, to reflect, to pray, to bear witness to hope rising in courageous communities. Feel free in your homes, your yards, or whatever space you are in, to move in some way from station to station, in a spirit of prayerful reflection and to enact these prayers in any way that the spirit moves you. The chorus that will call us to prayer is Courageous Love, written by Chris and Sarah. Chris will sing the whole song to start our walk and then lead us in the chorus at the beginning of each station. Chris? Stand up, courageous love, speak up, courageous love, rise up, courageous love, don't give up, courageous love, in the face of danger, in the face of harm, in the face of evil, do no wrong, stand up. Courageous love, speak up. Courageous love, rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love, in the face of terror, in the face of fear. Feel the suffering, embrace the tears and stand up. Courageous love, speak up. Courageous love, rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love, with redemptive anger, rooted in outrage. Reclaim history, turn the page and stand up. Courageous love, speak up. Courageous love, rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love, see the goodness in the shadows grow. Seek the wisdom, hold on to hope and stand up. Courageous love, speak up. Courageous love, rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love. The first station, a blessing for the walk. Get you man to let our lives honor your truth in these times. Together, get you man to let, let our, our courage rise in, in these times. times. Great spirit who comes out of the east. Let the light of the rising sun, let there be light on the path we walk. We ask the Great Spirit to give us courage to speak the truth and let our communities rise above all injustices. 
together. Get humanity to let our courage rise in these times. times. Spirit of creation, send us warm and soothing winds from the south to comfort us and caress us when we are tired and cold. Unfold us as your gentle breezes unfold the leaves of, on the trees. Great Spirit, we ask to give us courage to speak the truth of equality and let our communities rise above all injustices. Together, get you to let, let our, our courage rise in these times. times. Great life-giving spirit, we face the West, the direction of sundown. Let us remember every day that the moment will come when our sun will go down. Never let us forget that we must fade into you. Give us beautiful color. Give us a great sky for setting. And hope rises in courageous communities. So that when it is time to meet you, we come with glory. Together, get you to let, let our courage rise in these times. times. Great spirit of love, come to us with the power of the north. Make us courageous when the cold winds of life fall upon us. Give us strength and endurance for everything that is harsh, everything that hurts. Give us courage to speak the truth so that our communities may rise above injustices. Together, get you to let, let our courage rise in these times. times. Great spirit of the sky, lift us up to you that our hearts may worship you and come to you in glory. Hold in our memory that you are our creator, greater than we, eager for a good life. Let everything that is in this world lift our minds and our hearts and our lives to you so that when it is time, you always in truth and in heart and that hope rises in communities of courage. Together, Get you managed to let our courage rise in these times. Giver of all life, we pray to you from the earth. Help us to remember as we touch the earth that we are little and need your pity. Help us to be thankful for the gift of the earth and never to walk hurtfully on the world. Let hope rise in courageous communities. Bless us with eyes to love what comes from Mother Earth and teach us how to use well your gifts. Together, it's humanity to let, to let our courage rise in these times. Demigwitch. Amen. Stand up, courageous love, speak up. Courageous love, rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love. The second station, condemned. The impacts of police violence are felt in our communities each day. Not just a story or a newspaper headline. Police violence separates families, cages our loved ones, traumatizes our neighborhoods. It seeks to condemn our communities. We hear the stories of those tortured by police. We see their continued need for justice. We know that the fight is not over and the healing has just begun. Together, we, we commit to show, show up survivors, survivors of police violence. Police torture survivors are condemned in prisons across Illinois. Young people tortured into giving false confessions have been convicted of crimes they did not commit and sentenced to decades and lifetimes in prison. Our system admits these things have happened but does not take steps to set these survivors free. We hear the cries for freedom of incarcerated torture survivors. We see the efforts of their families fighting for their freedom. We know justice must include freedom for all torture survivors. 
we commit to show up in the courthouses, in the streets, and on the phones for the campaign to free all torture survivors. Together, we, we refuse, refuse the condemnation of our, our, our communities. Whole communities have been left to crumble in the shadow of prisons. With closed schools, no mental health centers, limited access to health care, groceries, and jobs, residents are displaced and criminalized. Disinvestment is an accomplice of police violence. We cannot end police violence without strong, healthy communities that allow all individuals to flourish and heal. Here are the needs of poor communities. We see the destruction caused by poverty and criminalization. We know that investment is a necess necessary part of ending police violence. Together, we commit, we commit to, to invest, invest in the health, in the health, health and autonomy, autonomy of, of every, every community. community. The victory of the reparations ordinance raised our spirits so that our community could continue the courageous fight for systemic, financial, and spiritual reparations for all people impacted by state violence. But the Chicago Torture Justice Memorial is still not funded, and the Chicago Torture Justice Center has not been given long-term funding. These basic tenets of the reparation ordinance are key to any authentic repair for survivors and their families. We hear the demand for expanded reparations. We see the courage of the Chicago Torture Justice We know that we are all have a part to play during reparations survivors of police violence. Together, we, we commit to lift, to up, lift up, support, support and, and fund, fund the, the courageous, courageous work for reparations. reparations. Stand up, courageous love, speak up. Courageous love, rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love. The third station, burdened. Dr. King once said that an individual has not started living until they can rise above the narrow confines of individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity. We see more than ever that we are interconnected. Truly, what happens to one of us impacts all of us. Decisions we make impact all of our brothers and sisters around the world. Together, we are, we are all interconnected. interconnected. We so often neglect this truth. We know what happens when we as individuals, communities, and societies do not realize that our actions have consequences. We forget the decisions we make have ripple effects. When we have inadequate health care, staggering economic inequality, a pandemic seems almost impossible to stop and endangers precious lives of so many who are left on the sidelines. Let us work together to create a world fully pleasing to our God. Together, we are the, are the, the people, people we have, been, we waiting have been waiting for. We need to create an alternative narrative that unequivocally declares, together, people, people for, for profits. profits. The current crisis shows how the lowest paid workers are absolutely essential to our economy and our livelihoods. Yet, they bear the greatest burdens in times like these. We need protections for all workers, especially guest workers, those who are improperly classified as independent contractors and the undocumented. Together, put people before profits. We need fundamental changes that put Mother Earth before massive economic greed. The destruction of the Earth most deeply burdened the vulnerable among us. 
together? We are, are all, all connected. connected. No individual, community, state, or country is independent, independent of each other. Our mission is to ensure that no life is worth less or has less value than any mm -hmm. other life. Let us dedicate our lives so that instead of worrying about the bottom line, we worry about those who line the bottom. Together, we are, we the, are the people we have been waiting, waiting for. for. Stand up, courageous love, speak up, courageous love, and rise up, courageous love, don't give up, courageous love. The fourth station helped in the struggle. In Latin America, People are coming together in mass movements to challenge repressive state powers, women's organizations, labor unions, peasant and indigenous groups, African descended peoples, students, LGBTQ organizations, human rights defenders, environmental groups, all have united their causes to help each other in the struggle. We can learn from this. Together, we give, we give thanks, thanks to God, God for courage, unity, and hope. In Colombia, more than 850 community leaders have been murdered since the signing of peace accords that supposedly put an end to over 50 years of war. And violence against women remains rampant. In the face of such violence, courageous pro-peace networks have organized the largest mass protests and monthly national strikes since 1948. People demand that the government guarantee equal access to education and health services, ensure basic services in the countryside, stop the violence, and provide an alternative to the low-wage, extractive, climate-destroying economic model pushed by the United States. God of justice and peace, teach us how our country has been part of the problem in Colombia. Together, motivate us to help, to help in, in the struggle. struggle. Groups all over Colombia have held concerts and performed street theater to infuse the movement with courage and hope. With the current pandemic, Colombians continue their protests by banging pots from their houses every two hours from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Their persistence inspires us. Creator God, we are made in your image. Together, Thank, thank you, you for the creativity provide that provides help in this struggle. In Chile, the median wage and pensions for the elderly are below the poverty line for a family of four. Yet the United States points to Chile's economy as a success story. In response to decades of broken promises by political leaders that free global markets it would lead to prosperity. More than a million people have participated in ongoing protests against inequality, privatization, the high cost of living, and low wages. Protesters are chanting, Chile woke up. Together, we, we call, call on the United, United, States United States States to repent, repent for exporting this economic, economic model around, around the world. Sheila's government has violently suppressed these protests. Police and military have killed 36 people and injured nearly 4,000. So many people have eye injuries that the eye has become a symbol of protest. All seeing God heal our blindness. Together, motivate, motivate us to find, to find ways, ways to help, to help, help in our struggle, in struggle. In this struggle. A courageous Chilean community has filed 1,600 
legal cases against the military and police for human rights violations. President Piñera has agreed to hold a referendum on writing new constitution and has increased some social benefits in response to the protests. The coronavirus will postpone, but not end this movement for greater social justice. God, who labors to give birth to new possibilities, together, motivate us to help, help each, each other, other patiently in our struggles. struggles. Stand up, courageous love, and speak up. Courageous love, rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love. A fifth station, women weeping. Families make up about 33% of those who are homeless. On a single night in January 2019, nearly 172,000 people and families in the USA were identified as homeless. Almost 15,000 people in families were living on the street, in a car, or in another place not, not meant for human habitation. In Chicago alone, nearly 35,000 people in families were homeless in 2017. Most of these families were headed by young single women with young children. Housing is a human right. Too many people lack basic shelter. Together, we, we unite, unite our voices, our voices call for shelter, shelter, shelter for everyone. everyone. Hear the cries of a homeless woman, survivor of domestic violence who fled her abuser, now weeping over what loss of housing means for herself and her children. Witness how she courageously swallows her fear each day to look for a solution, for shelter, for a program that will lead to a life of dignity and safety for her children. Housing is a human right. We must become a courageous community advocating with mothers and children. Together, we unite, we unite our, our voices, voices to call for shelter, shelter for, for everyone. Not all homeless women are mothers. Listen to Michelle, interviewed by The Guardian. I spent my first night homeless in this Santa Monica playground. I was 21 years old and had recently been let go from my job as a manager at a pizza place. I couldn't pay my rent and lost my home. I wish I had better adjectives to describe how sad I felt. Even while I was eating, I was sobbing. I cried all night. I used my luggage as a pillow and slept in the fetal position. I was so afraid. Housing is a human right. We must become a courageous community advocating with young women. Together, we, we unite, unite our, our voices, voices to call, call for shelter, shelter for, for, for everyone. everyone. Some homeless women are older. Catherine, a 73-year-old interviewed by Invisible People, has been homeless off and on since she was 13. An orphan from Kentucky, she does not weep much and relies on her religious faith. Jesus said he had nowhere to lay his head. At least I have a place to lay my head on the street when I want to sleep. When asked what she would wish if she had three wishes, she answered, that I had a lot of money where I could help a lot of people, that people who wanted to work had jobs, and that everyone knew Jesus the way I do. Especially in the current crisis, we know that it is not enough to weep and pray with women who face the challenge of homelessness every day. Housing is a human right. We must demand that our society provides them with the dignity and comfort they deserve as children of God. Together, 
May, May our, our tears join theirs to become seeds of courage, courage that, that grow into lives of security, security, peace, and hope. Stand up, courageous love, speak up, courageous love, and rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love. The sixth station, falling. People in Iran, Syria, and Palestine suffer from sanctions and military occupation. In this time of pandemic, we lift up our prayers for those most vulnerable, for those who fall due to the heavy burdens of unjust policies as Jesus fell under the weight of the cross. In Iran, U.S. sanctions have caused a shortage of medicines, medical supplies, and equipment even before the devastating impact of COVID-19. Iran has been overwhelmed, the worst affected country in the Middle East. For the listing, lifting of the disabling burden of economic sanctions, we pray. May health and lives be protected and cherished for all those in need. Together, we send our prayers to Iranians. In Syria, an estimated 11 million people need humanitarian assistance. Some 6.2 million displaced from their homes lack adequate shelter and sanitation. Syria's healthcare sector has been seriously weakened as a result of military attacks and the ongoing war and the imposition of sweeping sanctions, making it difficult to purchase medicines and medical supplies. For those who continue to suffer the burdens of war and displacement, especially in refugee camps, we pray. May health and lives be protected and cherished for all those in need. Together, we send, we send our, our prayers, prayers to Syrians. Palestinians in Gaza live under siege with the pre-existing burdens of a severe water crisis, an extreme power shortage, high rates of unemployment, crumbling infrastructure caused by military occupation. In one of the most densely populated communities in the world, Gaza's two million residents are especially ill-equipped to handle the COVID-19 virus. Palestinians in Bethlehem, Jerusalem, and other parts of historic Palestine also suffer from an under-resourced health system, lacking critical medical supplies needed to treat patients suffering from COVID-19. Palestinians are falling under the weight of decades of Israeli occupation, displacement, denial of equal rights, and lack of accountability for human rights violations. For those dispersed across the world, and for those living in confinement under Israeli military occupation, we pray. May health and lives be protected and cherished for all those in need. Together, we, we send, send our, our prayers, prayers to Palestinians. Palestinians. Many people are following, falling under the harsh realities of sanctions, military occupation, and war. The weight of the cross is heavy. Yet courageous people in these communities find and build hope. We commit to shoulder the weight of the cross, to challenge injustices done against the people of Iran, Syria, and Palestine, to lift the heavy burdens caused by the most vulnerable among us to fall. Together, the love, the love we, we see, see in a courageous and faithful, and faithful Jesus, Jesus gives us hope, us hope in a loving God. God. Stand up. Courageous love, speak up. Courageous love and rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. 
courageous love. The seventh station, mother's grieving. There is one source, one power, one universal spirit coursing through all things and in back of all things. It is moving in us, around us, and through us. That source is freedom, love, courage, peace, joy. Together, we are, we are all, all connected to, to this source. source. There is no separation. We are freedom. We are love. We are courage. We are peace. We are joy. Just as we are connected to source, we know this as the truth of mothers and their children. Together. Freedom, freedom love, love, courage, courage peace, peace, and joy, joy are the truth of who they are. Who they are. are. It is from this place of oneness that we speak a blessing for mothers grieving and for all parents and family members whose children have been taken from them at our borders. We know that freedom is their universal truth, that freedom is their right. Together, we, we reject, reject their, their, imprisonment their imprisonment and their separation. Their separation. We claim love and courage for them knowing it is already so, that they love their children fiercely, that courage is the truth of their being. Together, we, we cast, cast away, away discrimination, discrimination and hatred, and hatred and into nothingness. nothingness. We speak peace and joy for them for the day when they hold their children again. Together, we, we dispel any feelings of angst, angst or sadness. We give great thanks for the fulfillment of this prayer, knowing that it is already answered, it is already done. We turn this request over to the action of the law that always says, yes, beloved, yes. Together. And so, and so it is. is. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Amen. Stand up, courageous love, speak up, courageous love, rise up, courageous love, don't give up, courageous love. The eighth station, stripped. Then they stripped off Jesus' clothes and put a scarlet robe on him. They made fun of him and shouted, Hey, you king of the Jews. Then they spit on him. They took the stick from him and beat him on the head with it. The institutional church shouts, You are an abomination. But the voice of God calls out, Together, You are my beloved, beloved with, with whom, whom I am well pleased. Well pleased. The institutional sh church shouts, you are incompatible with Christian teaching, but the voice of God soothes together. I knit, I knit you together, together and, there, and form in your, your innermost, innermost being. being. You are, you are fearfully and, and wonderfully made. made. The institutional church mocks and pretends to worship a God of love and life, while also manufacturing the weapons wielded in worldwide violence against the LGBTQI plus persons. But the presence of God rushes to where there is violence together and, and turns the devastating force of death, of death into, into a, a rainbow, rainbow, rainbow promise. promise. Jesus' people hated the Canaanites, thought they were lost in sin. So Jesus himself was caught by surprise when a woman of Canaan came in. And when he compared her people to dogs, she did not flee or sway. She changed the mind of Jesus 
and he blessed her together because, because she did not, not go away. Go away. The old Pharisees thought when they put him to death that in the grave Jesus would stay. But just like Jesus, we are rising again together. We, we are, are not, not going, going away. away. We're partnered and single. We're wealthy and poor. We're queer and we're lesbian and gay. We're brown and pink and all shades in between. We're young and lived many a day. We're singing and praying in spirit and song and try to ignore us, you may. But we believe in the promise of Jesus together. And we, and we are, are not going, going away. away. God blesses the children who stand up and say together, we are, we are not, not going, going away. away. Stand up, courageous love, speak up, courageous love, rise up, courageous love, don't give up, courageous love. The ninth station, executed. Earth, mother, father, home. In, in your, your arms, arms we rest. rest. As a child at the breast looks at their parent, from within loving arms we rest. Our gratitude has no words. You are everything. In, in your, your arms, arms we breathe. Living, loving air. Delicate shield between us and the void. In your arms we see. Sunrise, north star, quarter half full moon, storm cloud, racing wind. In your arms we move. Ocean, cove, river, lake, plain, mountain, Hill, valley, street, lane. In, in your arms, arms we hear. Lark, dove, robin, eagle, gull, owl, parrot, hornbill, kingfisher, goose. In, in your arms, arms we see. Dog, bear, coyote, horse. Moose, muskrat, lion, elephant, kiwi, chimp. In your arms, we know. Brother, sister, friend, mother, father, ancestors, neighbors, comrades, children. In your, In your arms, we live. live. Food, drink, shelter. Work, play, song, birth, death, birth. And in your arms we thrash, rage, war, consume, trample, poison, crush, kill, rip, rend, suck, waste. In your arms we forget, yet ignore, disconnect, distance. Deny. Deny. Earth, mother, father, home, in your arms we pray. In, in your, your arms, arms we bow. bow. In the name of daybreak, the eagle and the mole, in the name of the wind and the open ocean we vow, in the name of the cherry blossom falling and the mountain sitting still, we vow. We vow we, we will remember, remember you. We will no longer forget and deny and dishonor you. We vow to act as guardians of life, healers of misery, architects of balance, messengers of wonder, and midwives of peace. In your, In your arms, arms we vow. 
without, without words, words we, we have. have. Stand up, courageous love, speak up, courageous love, and rise up. Courageous love, don't give up. Courageous love. The tenth station, resurrection. Each year, the Good Friday Walk for Justice. It's a time to reflect on our faith that love will overcome the violence, injustice, and despair that we see in our world. It is the time to proclaim our courage, courageous belief that another world is possible and that we can create it by joining together in courageous communities. Not only can we create it, we are creating it every day through countless acts of resistance, challenge, compassion, and truth. In spite of unjust social and political structures, in spite of human greed and ignorance, in spite of mysterious invisible microbes that threaten our lives. We are finding ways to come together and work together to bring peace, light, compassion, and joy to our beloved world. Our beautiful and sacred Mother Earth is threatened with damage, destruction by those who seek to profit from the bounty, rather than assuring that these gifts are available for the benefit of all. To protect and defend our earth and skies, rivers, lakes, and streams, mountains and forests, and all our brothers and sisters in creation. Together, we, we gather, gather courage from, from each other. other. When one member of our community suffers, all suffer. When powerful government authorities inflict suffering, inequality, and violence on the most vulnerable, all of us are harmed. To demand that our city officials provide reparations for survivors of police violence and restoration to their communities together, we, we join, join our, our courageous, courageous voices and, and efforts. efforts. The current pandemic crisis in which we're living provides clear evidence of our interconnectedness and interdependence. Those who work in lowest paid and most menial jobs are exploited and excluded, even as we depend on them for our daily sustenance. To the protection of vulnerable workers, and the defense of their rights to dignified working conditions and equitable pay. Together, we dedicate, we dedicate, dedicate ourselves. ourselves. Our courageous sisters and brothers of Latin America are rising up to resist the repressive and unjust social and political structures that cause suffering and death. Inspired by the creativity and faith they bring to the struggle for justice, together, we commit to help in the struggle. As we are currently required by our government to shelter in place and stay in our homes, our hearts go out to our sisters and brothers who have no homes to protect them from COVID-19. For the creation of a society where everyone has a safe and secure place to lay their heads and protect their children and belongings Together. We raise Many thousands of people in Syria, Iran, and Palestine live in dangerous conditions where daily violence, lack of sanitation, and inadequate access to medical care make them especially vulnerable to diseases such as coronavirus. For an end to military occupation, crippling sanctions, and war, so that justice, dignity, and hope may prevail together. We turn our, our prayers, prayers into action. action. We decry the inhumane treatment of courageous immigrants who come to our country in search of safety and dignity, but instead encounter hostility, violence, 
and worst of all, are torn apart from their beloved children whom they fled to protect. While we work tirelessly for justice for our immigrant brothers and sisters, together, we extend our welcome, our welcome and our protection. Our protection. We hear and see the suffering of our LGBTQI plus community members who are rejected and denied by their own families, their faith communities, and society at large. We courageously reject this unholy and unjust discrimination and demand that all be accepted as who we are, blessed and beloved by our Creator. Together, we are, we are not, not going, going away. away. We see with alarm and dismay, anger and fear, the ongoing destruction of our beloved home, the earth. Yet we also see its resilience, its strength and beauty, and the glorious, amazing creative power that flows in and through and around us at all times. In this we rest. By it we are nourished to honor all creation and defend our earth and all its creatures from exploitation, violence, and destruction. Together, we, we commit ourselves. ourselves. In all our prayers, we hear the voices of courageous communities working to bring the vision of peace, light, and compassion into being. This is the message of Good Friday and Easter. Death and suffering will not have the last word. Together we are creating the resurrection and building a world of hope and beauty for all. Together. Great Spirit, let our courage rise in these times. We're gonna keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Never turning back. Never turning back. We're gonna reach across our borders. Reach across our borders. Reach across our borders. Never turning back. Never turning back. We're gonna speak our truth with courage. Speak our truth with courage. Speak our truth with courage, never turning back, never turning back. We're gonna work for change together, work for change together, work for change together. Never turning back, never turning back. We're gonna keep on loving boldly, keep on loving boldly, keep on loving boldly, never turning back. turning back we're gonna all show up for justice all show up for justice all show up for justice never turning back never turning we're gonna let our courage rise up. Let our courage rise up. Let our courage rise up. 
never turning back never turning back no never turning back never turning back amen this ends the 2020 Good Friday Virtual Walk for Justice. Thank you for participating. Remember to post your photos and make a donation. Go forth and practice resurrection. We're gonna let our courage rise up. Let our courage rise up.